The importance of Turtle to us, Yorta Yorta people, is that it is a protector and a provider. What the elders have said and stated to us is that we have a cultural moral obligation to be out there caring for the turtle as it did in, in our uh, past and in our history. What we're trying to do is bring um, our epistemologies, our um, ecological knowledge about the turtle as well as science together to give a better outcome in relation to what the turtle um, is to us but also what it provides uh, the natural resources as well. This project came about because of the recent drought. The Yorta Yorta people, which are the indigenous landholders for this area, were finding a lot of dead turtles throughout the forest. They were concerned about the welfare of the turtles, especially because one of the species is their totem animal. It's involved in their creation stories. So they enlisted the Arthur Ryler Institute to come out and do some surveys, just to look at the health of the turtles in the forest, where they're distributed and their status. So this is a holistic approach. We need to understand the needs of the turtle, so we look, have to look at what's related um, to the turtle around water and certainly uh, the needs um, of it as a food resource as well. So the focus for the project was to bring our cultural alive and it was really to start focusing on building the capacity within the youth. And it was really to start introducing science to our kids as well, to see the importance around science and, and our, um, our culture also. So the approach to this was to create a weekend where we brought family um, and community out um, and to actually look at and understand the creation stories of Yorta Yorta. But it was also about learning science as well, bringing science to the table and under getting to an understanding of what science need um, to look at in regards to the preservation of the turtle as well. So what we found so far is that drought and flood really drive turtle health in the forest. So during drought, turtles are really in poor condition. They're weak, they're struggling, they don't nest as often, and we find a lot of dead turtles throughout the forest. We also find them in habitats that they might not usually occur in because they're restricted to where they can live. During flood, the turtles disperse, they're happier, they're healthier, they're stronger and they nest more often and we don't find as many dead turtles. We hope this information in the future will guide management and environmental water flows and cultural water flows will be released for the turtles in time of drought. Excitingly, we just purchased 13 new GPS transmitters and we're putting these on turtles this year. These female turtles will lead us to their nesting sites and the Yorta Yorta Rangers will then be able to protect these areas. This will make sure that future generations of turtles will be able to come back into the population. So Yorta Yorta people are committed to protecting the turtle. Um, through this we have created opportunities for our people to be employed as rangers with Parks Victoria. What we are trying to achieve with this is um, getting them to go out and learn uh, with scientists about the management and the surveying um, of, of turtles and how we will include that in long-term management of Obama National Park also.